Hello, beloved of God. Welcome everyone to our channel, a space for reflection and spiritual strengthening. Today, we are going to immerse ourselves together in the powerful words of Psalm 91, seeking comfort and divine protection. Before we begin, I invite you to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share it with your loved ones. Let's build a community that is increasingly united and strengthened by faith. Now, I want to share a teaching with you. The secret to prosperity and success in all areas of your lives is to wake up every day and pray. Converse with God, opening your hearts to our Almighty Father, and you can be sure that He will do more. When we start the day with prayer, God guides our steps, delivers us from all evil, and helps us overcome daily obstacles. Prayer protects us from negative news. All bad things fall away when we start the day praying and exalting the Word of God. I am confident that God will bring light to guide you on your paths. Now, I ask you to write your names and those for whom you would like us to pray in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to receive more inspirational content like this. I appreciate your support, and if you can, give it a like so that you too, by clicking on the bell and the word ALL, understands that our content is relevant to people's lives. To all the new followers joining our channel, receive a warm welcome. From this moment on, you will be included in my prayers. I appreciate your presence and hope you find inspiration and blessings through our content. May we all grow together on this journey. Welcome and blessed be. Now, let's begin our prayer, and then we will recite Psalm 91 seven times to strengthen our faith and worship to the Lord. Dear God, at this moment, we seek refuge in your protective wings, as taught by Psalm 91. Strengthen our faith, guide our steps, and grant us your peace that surpasses all understanding. May we always find refuge in you, trusting in your constant protection. Thank you for being our refuge and strength. O oh God, at this moment we seek refuge under your protection, as taught by Psalm 91. Strengthen our faith, guide our paths, and grant us the serenity that goes beyond all understanding. May we always find security in you, trusting in your constant guardianship. We are grateful for being our safe haven and our strength. Amen. Beloved God, refuge and strength, as Psalm 91 assures us, we seek your protection and blessing in all areas of our lives. We ask for your care and our health so that we may be strengthened and preserved from all illness. In our relationships, grant us wisdom to love and forgive, and peace, to cultivate harmony. In finances, guide our steps, granting us sustenance and prosperity according to your will. Lord, in our spiritual journey, give us discernment, faith, and strength to resist adversities. May your shield protect us from visible and invisible dangers, and may your presence be with us at all times. We trust in your constant care over us and our families. Thank you for being our safe haven and for hearing our safe haven and for hearing our pleas. Beloved God, as Psalm 91 teaches us, we seek in you our refuge and protection, even in our financial life, confident in your promise to be our safe haven amidst the uncertainties of this world. We ask for your guidance and wisdom to manage our resources so that we can make wise and prudent decisions. May your provision be with us, blessing our efforts and ventures, allowing us to reap the fruits of prosperity according to your will. Deliver us from financial afflictions, grant us discernment to manage our assets responsibly and generously. May our path be illuminated by your light, ensuring security and stability in our finances Help us trust in you in times of scarcity, knowing that you are the inexhaustible source of all. Blessings. Strengthen our faith so that we are not consumed by anxiety or concerns about money, but that we can find peace in you. Thank you for your faithfulness and for taking care of every detail of our lives, even in the financial area. Beloved God, as Psalm 91 assures us, we seek in you our refuge and protection even in our relationships and sentimental life. 
We know that your presence is a shield of love around us, keeping us from afflictions and uncertainties in matters of the heart. We also ask for your guidance in our relationships, that we may be strengthened in love, respect, and mutual understanding. Grant us wisdom to handle the difficulties that may arise, that we may forgive and love unconditionally. May the bond between us and our loved ones be strengthened by your grace, establishing ties of genuine affection and mutual respect. Protect us from wounds and disappointments. May trust and fidelity be pillars in our relationship. May we be instruments of peace, understanding, and mutual support, strengthening the emotional bonds that unite us. Lord, guard our hearts from illusions and pains, and may we find in you the fullness of true love. We thank you for your constant presence in our lives and for being the foundation of our relationships. Dear God, as Psalm 91 teaches us, we seek in you our refuge and protection, especially when it comes to our health. We acknowledge that you are our safe haven in times of uncertainty and illness. We ask for your mercy and healing for our bodies. Strengthen us internally Restore our health and renew our strength. Grant wisdom to the doctors and healthcare professionals who assist us, empowering them to treat and care for those in need. May your protective mantle be over us, guarding us from diseases and afflictions. Help us maintain healthy habits, physically and emotionally, to preserve the gift of life you have given us. Strengthen our faith to face health challenges, knowing that you are by our side at all times. May we feel your comfort and peace even in the most difficult moments. Thank you for your constant presence and the promise to take care of us in all circumstances. Beloved God, as Psalm 91 assures us, we seek in you our refuge and protection for our family. We acknowledge that you are our safe haven in the midst of adversities and challenges that may arise in our home. We ask for your protection over each member of our family. Guard us from all evil, keeping away visible and invisible dangers. May your shield envelop us, providing security, love, and harmony in our daily living. Strengthen the bonds that unite us, granting patience, understanding, and mutual forgiveness. May there be wisdom to face difficulties and joy to celebrate happy moments together. Lord. Bless family relationships, be the source of comfort in times of affliction, and guide us towards peace and unity. May our family be a reflection of your love and goodness. We thank you for your constant presence in our lives and for being our safe haven. Beloved God, as Psalm 91 teaches us, we seek in you our refuge and protection also for our spiritual life. We acknowledge that you are the source of all wisdom and light that guides our steps. We ask for your constant presence in our lives, strengthening our faith and our connection with you. May we find refuge in you in times of difficulty, hope in moments of discouragement, and peace in the midst of tribulations. Guide us in our spiritual journey, illuminating our understanding to comprehend your teachings. Strengthen our relationship with you, allowing us to grow spiritually, nourishing ourselves with love, compassion, and understanding. May we remain steadfast in your word, always seeking the truth and the path that leads us to your presence. Equip us to live according to your principles, being instruments of love and peace wherever we go. We thank you for your sustaining grace, and for your faithfulness that accompanies us at every step. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Now, I ask you to write in the comments your names and the following phrase, May the protection and peace described in Psalm 91 always be in my life and that of my family. Remember that in Isaiah 41, 10, 12 it says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Behold, all who are incensed against you shall be put to shame and confounded. Those who strive against, you shall be as nothing and shall perish. You shall seek those who contend with you, but you shall not find them. 
those who war against you shall be as nothing at all. This verse provides comfort and encouragement in times of fear, uncertainty, or difficulties, speaking of God's constant presence and protection in the lives of those who follow Him. It promises to be with His children, strengthening, helping, and upholding them in difficult times. The text also assures that those who oppose God's plan for their lives will be disappointed and confused. God promises that, in the end, He will prevail over any adversary, and that those who oppose His designs will not be able to resist His will. It is a powerful reminder of divine protection and victory over adversities through faith and trust in God. Friends, I invite you to join in a powerful prayer chain. Let us lift our hearts in unity, seeking strength, peace, and blessings for all who need it. May our prayers reach those in difficulties, strengthen the sick, comfort the afflicted, and bring hope to discouraged hearts. May the divine light guide each of our steps and the people in our minds and hearts at this moment. Together, let's create a powerful movement of love and solidarity through prayer. May peace be with us all. Now let us recite Psalm 91 seven times. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him I will trust. Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you up in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. According to the declaration in Psalm 91, may your angels be assigned to guard my steps so that I do not stumble on stones hidden by the enemy. May your faithfulness be my shield and wall, and may I rest in peace, knowing that you are always with me. May no fear assail me, for your love casts out all fear. May your light dispel all darkness around me, and may I walk in the fullness of your protection, knowing that no evil will prevail against me. May your promises manifest in my life, O God, and may I experience the fullness of your grace and mercy. In times of uncertainty, may your peace that surpasses all understanding guard my heart and mind in Christ Jesus. I declare your word over my life, trusting that under the wings of the Most High I will find a safe refuge. May this prayer, inspired by Psalm 91, be like a hymn of confidence and victory in my spiritual journey. Amen. Thus, I conclude this prayer with gratitude in my heart confident that our supplications have been heard. May divine protection envelop us. May peace reign in our hearts, and may the light of love and hope guide our paths. <laughs>